Hello everyone and welcome back to Cold Waters. So I've done a few missions now. I think I've done the Jewel, Iron Coffins and the Bastion Gambit. So because I'm a bit of a thickhead, I thought there was only eight single missions. But when I scrolled down, I saw there was Stalking the Bear, which is to hunt and kill the Soviet Typhoon class boomer. Don't think I'm up to that yet. Need a bit more practice. But this one, Strike from the Sea. Perform a strike with cruise missiles to deliver a crushing blow deep in the Soviet's backyard. So the primary objective is to add eight TLAM Tomahawk missiles to stores and then fire eight into the deployment zone. So the secondary objective is to avoid detection. So I might have a crack at this, I think. This seems interesting, a bit different for a submarine commander. So I've got the Los Angeles class. I'll have that. Thank you very much. And I've got USS Phoenix. All right, let's accept. Go to battle stations. All right, so let's just see where we are to start with. Where are we at the moment? Con, sonar, new contact right. bearing, two, five, got a contact. Nine, Depth is 50. Two. What's our total? Oh, 220. Let's go down to 100. Let's one, rig zero, for silent. For ultra quiet. Mission signature. What is the contact? Certainly no humpback whale. It's probably an anti-submarine warfare. Oh, hello. No, it's not a typhoon. I'm assuming it's more of a surface contact, anti-submarine warfare. And we're already being pinged, so... Cresta. Could be a Cresta one. one. Alright, let's go to the tactical map and let's have a look. Alright, so there's our deployment zone. Let's check our weapons. What have we got? Well, how am I supposed? Let me just work this out. 14, 22. got no tomahawks on how do I fire tomahawks if I don't have any in my weapons con torpedo room 2.1 ready con torpedo room 2.2 two ready con sonar Sierra 2 is classified as escort all right so our mission is to get to this Con deployment sonar, zone. Contact bearing one, four, six. Designated Sierra three. That's a Riga. Let's have a look at a Riga. All right, it's anti-submarine warfare, but it is going away from us. Got a helicopter out. Con sonar, new contact bearing one. Designated Sierra 4. Con sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as escort. Alright, so we've got two rigors. Con sonar, Sierra 3 is classified as escort. So Sierra 1, Sierra 2, both rigors. 3 at 184. Don't know what that is. Right, so it's anti submarine warfare. Only a small vessel though. So I think we stay at Rig ship for ultra quiet. Rig for ultra quiet. Quiet quiet? Can't speak now. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing two, four, nine. Contact faded. So you have to fire them all. So do I take a risk? Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. This is a hell of a risk. 
Signatures. Con, torpedo four. room, tube four ready. Signatures. The rig is moving away. The Grisha is moving away, but still relatively close. Contact four. Uh, Con sonar, Sierra four is classified as Duba. merchant. Duba, merchant. Ship for ultra quiet. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two last bearing three three four contact faded. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra one bearing two five three. It's closing quickly. Now we've got a fifth tar fifth contact. Fifteen knots. It's heading towards the inner side. Mind you though, coming out of the naval base, what I'm assuming is a naval base. What have we got for weapons? So I've got to fire the four missiles and then reload. Send off the second salvo. That was going to be problematic, I think. Anyway, it is what it is. Just took down to 150 Make feet. Step one five zero feet. Die by. Just cooking up the speed a little bit. Con dive at one five zero feet. Die by. Two sixty six feet. Imagine as I get closer to the coast, board's going to become shallower. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra three last bearing zero three five contact yeah, faded. Grisha. Sierra two Sierra three don't have to be too worried about at the moment. Or eight sixteen twenty four thousand yards and eight sixteen two or three two close to forty. This rigger is getting closer. This is contact one twenty thousand. Speed four. Contact five. Fifteen knots coming in towards me awfully quick. Don't like this. Both rigors. Two four anti submarine warfare and one merchant ship. Okay. Let's we'll come back around into its baffles. Come right to one eight eight helm I. One's moving away. Zero four is a merchant. Zero five moving away. Eight sixteen three four thirty two thousand yards to go. Go back up to five knots. Get speed. Make four, turns four for five out. knots. Maneuvering eye. little surprises I'll find as I get close or once I fire the first salvo. I think 
from memory, I've got to be at 100 feet, minimum 100 feet, or maximum depth of 100 feet to fire these missiles off. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 4, last bearing 3, 4, 7, contact faded. Okay, well that's alright. Come left to one six one helm I con helm steady course. This will release point but slight angle to get us away from those two contacts here one Sierra five. myself being almost a periscope depth by the time I let these missiles go. Con helm, steady course. Well, where shall my aim be found? Con dive at one so zero zero feet dive by. Awfully shallow. Four, eight, twelve, ten, twenty. We're getting there. Progressively getting shallower though. Depth is my um saviour. <coughs> Quicker than that, such shallow water, I'll end up cavitating. Got contacts there.
Part of this is boring coming into this part of the um, aspect of the game, getting to where you need to go, but I'm sure things are going to heat up either as I approach the deployment site of the mission or once I start deploying the first salvo of missiles. Nothing to be seen. the suspense When I get there, I may be in a position where I can start to fire off the missile straight away anyway. Here, um, well, I'm going to alert everyone to my presence, but by time it's such a long time. Con sonar regained contact do, on Sierra uh, 3, bearing 0, 4, 0. Pull this off. Right, so the rigors 45 and closing. Wisher. It says it's doing 15 knots. Oh, yeah, it's still coming towards me. Ship for ultra quiet. Running. Con maneuvering, making turns for six knots. Make turns for four knots. Maneuvering on. Con less than fifty feet below the keel. Oh, are you kidding? Zone Con left. maneuvering, making turns for three knots. Level 19, or 
stop. Make turns for zero knots, maneuvering eye. Control straight below the keel. Won't stop. Torpedoes in the water. Make depth five zero feet, dive by. Make turns for three knots, maneuvering eye. Something we've got torpedo for a chunk of the area. Turns for zero knots, maneuvering eye. All right, this is it. <clears throat> Shoot two one, I sir. Shoot two two, I sir. Shoot two three, I sir. Shoot two four, I sir. Right. Time, let's get this done. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Con, torpedo room, tube two ready. Shoot tube one, aye sir. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. Shoot tube three, aye sir. Rams getting stuff unloaded. Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. Aye, sir. Reload, reload. Yeah, it's all self preservation now. Con, oh, sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing Not zero, anything. seven, three. Two knots. Make turns for two knots, maneuvering eye. Condition Make turns control. for three knots. Con, torpedo room. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, three, last bearing, zero, zero, one, contact faded. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. Come left two, zero, five, five, helm, I. for ultra quiet make turns for five knots maneuvering eye come on let's get out of here
the order. There we go. Order starting it for deeper now. Come right to zero nine one helm I. Just go Come left to zero up. two seven helm I. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Con less than fifty feet below the keel. Why it's seventy seven feet? Damage control. What's going on? I'm sitting on the bottom. No speed. Make turns for zero knot. Damage maneuvering eye. Come right to zero eight zero helm I. Make turns for two knot maneuvering eye. Not showing any damage at the moment, but the hull's at 53%. Damage control parties, lay into the engine room. Make turns for zero knot, maneuvering eye. Sixteen thousand yards. Don't think it's even safe for me to fire a torpedo at the moment because I have no propulsion. I haven't worked out why yet. Two zero eight zero helm I make turns for three knot maneuvering eye. Damage control party, lay to the reactor space. Not showing any damage. Where's the ballast? Got 53% damage. Maybe we ought to send it some water in. Affecting my um, stability. Total array at the moment is irrelevant. Fire control is irrelevant. Periscope, radar mast, DSM, tubes, bow sonar is irrelevant. Let's go to the belt. Damage control parties. Lay into the engine room. Make turns for zero knot maneuvering eye.
let's see. Get out of here. Yeah, craft nearby. No. So we go back. Flooding in the reactor space. Damage control party. Eight of the reactor space. Can't see any other damage other than the reactor space. Speed up the game a little bit. Let's see if we can. Um, no, can't speed it up at the moment because we have no propulsion. So we just have to be patient to see what happens in the reactor, reactor space. Damage control party, lay into the engine room. Reactor, the ballast, the planes, or the propulsion. So, what's my planes are at? They're equal. Run is at 30 degrees. Oh, hang on. Make turns for zero knots, maneuvering up. Let's see if we can get out now and end the game. Alright, no vessels, no weapons nearby, blah blah blah. Leave combat. Enemy engaged, escape, escape, escaped. Weapons remaining. I don't know if that's a success or not. I fired the eight missiles. We, no, no after action report. So I'm not sure if that was successful or not. I probably should have gone out of the tactical view to watch the missiles to see what they did. Anyway, different game. I'll probably have another crack at that another time. But I hope you enjoyed it. A fair bit of patience involved in that, trying to get in stealthily. And I'll read up the manual later to find out what went wrong as to why I had no propulsion, given that the only warning I had was flooding in the reactor space and I think I cleared all that. There was no water showing on the, on the uh, cross-sectional area of the sub. So, but anyway, that's the end of that one. That is um, Strike from the Sea, number nine. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, this is the Major out. Bye-bye.